Welcome to Inspire Happenings. I'm Missy and today we are making these rainbow marshmallow treats that are super cool and a fun snack to make for any rainbow loving fan. So far we have made this rainbow ribbon cake and these super cute rainbow meringue pops. And now we are moving on to our rainbow marshmallows. They are so soft and fluffy, you guys are going to love them. I didn't show it here, but you're going to need to coat a nine by nine square pan with butter. I started off with my stand mixer and poured in my water and my three packets of gelatin and mixed it together. Once it was mixed, I turned it off and went over to my medium saucepan onto the stove and poured in my two cups of sugar, my half a cup of corn syrup, my half a teaspoon of salt, and my half cup of water, and mixed it all together. I dropped in my candy thermometer and then let it come to a rolling boil. If you don't have a candy thermometer, that's okay. You can just wait until it comes to a rolling boil and then time it for one minute. This is extremely hot and I would recommend starting off really slow with your mixer and gradually turning it up to high. Just as an added precaution, I added my KitchenAid shield so that it didn't have any hot splashes coming back up at me. You can never be too careful. Turn it up to high and let it mix for about five minutes. Once it's done, it should look something like this. I divided my mixture into six bowls and colored each one red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Working quickly, I poured each color into my prepared pan, starting with red and going up to purple in order of the rainbow. Make sure to spread out each color covering the last color as much as possible to get a nice even effect for your individual squares. Place this aside and let it sit out for about six hours. Now that it's been six hours, I'm adding some of my powdered sugar to the top, and this is to keep it from being too sticky when we work with it. I'm also going to powder my work area for the same reason. Now take your pan and turn it on its side, helping it out by pulling on it gently. Add some more powdered sugar to the top. If you don't wanna have this much powdered sugar, it can make it too sweet for you. You can always do half powdered sugar and half cornstarch. I'm taking my grease knife and marking where I need to cut all the way across. Once I'm happy with my marks, I begin cutting my marshmallows. I then went ahead and cut them on a horizontal line as well. These are gonna give you more bite-sized pieces. Look how beautiful these are. The colors are so vibrant. Some of them actually look tie-dyed. And they are so soft and fluffy, I am going to have a hard time sharing these. And that's it. I hope you like these rainbow marshmallow treats as much as we did. And if you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you make this treat, please share it on any of my social media. I will leave all those links down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you are notified every time I upload a new video. I love you guys and I'll see you next time when we make another inspired treat together. Bye bye guys.